Dear viewers, today we will discuss the topic of general medicine BMI, body mass index. It's commonly used technique to calculate body fats of an individual. In this lecture, we will elaborate and learn about the BMI, its calculations, its definitions, the reference ranges declared by WHO, what are the normal BMIs, what are the subnormal BMIs and what are the elevated BMIs. All of these things we will learn in this lecture. So first of all, what is BMI? It is the measure of body fats based on the height and weight of the individual. Basically, if we want to determine the weight of an individual and the fats, the body fats of an individual, uh, we use the technique of BMI. In this method, we need height and weight of that individual. If we know the height and weight of that individual, then we can easily calculate the body fats contained in that individual. This is called BMI. Uh, it is the ratio of weight and height in square. We usually take height in squares. What is the formula of BMI? Uh, in BMI, it is the ratio between weight and height. Weight is taken in pounds and the height square taken in inches is multiplied by a factor of 703. So we will get the desired BMI. The BMI will calculated will be in kilogram per meter square or pounds per inches square depend upon the calculations you have put in your formula. So we will get our BMI in pounds per inch square but both of these uh, units have the same calculation, they have the same results. The BMI was first described by Belgian scientist Adolf Quetlet in 1830. Therefore, the synonym of BMI is Quetlet Index. Dear viewers, I am calculating my BMI. My weight is 70 kg and height is 5.8 feet. So, it's, it's very much easy to calculate your BMI if you have known height and weight. My weight is in 70 kg. I have to convert this kg into pounds as required in the formula. So, first of all, we have to convert the kg into pounds. For this purpose, you know that 450 grams equals to 1 pound or 0 0.450 kg equals to 1 pound. For 1 kg, you have to divide both sides by 0 0.450. So, 1 kg is equal to 1 over 0 0.450 pounds. And for my weight, 70 kg, both sides will be multiplied by 70. So, 70 kg is equal to 1 over 0 0.450 into 70, which results in 155 pounds. So, my weight in pounds is 155 which I have put in the formula. For my height, 5.8 feet. So, for 5 feet, you have 60 inches plus 8. So, 68 inches, which I have put in this formula. The square of it is taken. It's multiplied by a factor of 703, which is a constant factor for determination of BMI. After calculations, I found the figure 23.5. Then I will match this figure. The resultant will be matched with the WHO declared reference ranges, whether I am obese, underweight or normal weight. So reference ranges declared by WHO are, if your factor comes below 18.5, you are underweight. If it lies between 18.5 and 24.9, you are normal weight as I am. 25 to 29.9, it is overweight. And if your BMI is more than 30, you lie in the category of obesity. So this was the simple formula which calculate your BMI. Online calculators are also available for BMI. You can also use the online calculator in which you have to put your weight and height as required by that formula. What are the limitations of BMI? It means that you can't calculate the accurate and exact BMI of these individuals. It will give you false results. Uh, I will uh, I'll explain these factors. BMI applies to both male and female, but you can't estimate the BMI of muscle builders accurately because it will not show you the fat content of that unit because he is building muscles and proteins. He will have low fat contents while his BMI will be elevated. It is called false elevation. Similarly, the athletes they will also have at elevated BMI but have low fat cartridge because they are building their muscles, growing their muscles. In case of pregnant woman, she has body fluids uh, in her 
the extra human being in her womb. So all these factors will elevate her BMI. But this will be false elevation because these things are just due to pregnancy and after pregnancy her BMI will fall. In young children the body uh, mass index cannot be calculated because his body is not proportionate yet. He is growing and developing. So he will have low fat contents while BMI will reflect his high fat contents. So these are the factors and these are the persons whose BMI can't be calculated by this general formula due to certain factors underlined which I have explained you. What is the function of BMI? It particularly determines the body fat. So it, it assesses whether a person is underweight, normal or obese by calculating his BMI and matching with the reference ages declared by WHO. It is used by clinicians, cardiologists, patients, general people use this formula to determine their BMI. It's simple and non-invasive method for determination of body fats. You can determine the body fats of a person by non-invasion method, by simple calculations of height and weight. Now we discussed that what is meant by normal BMI value, elevated BMI value and low BMI value. Normal value is just okay that you are in good position of proteins, muscles and fats in your body. But if you have elevated BMI value, it means that you are exposed to, you are prone to cardiac diseases. You may suffer from cardiac diseases, you may suffer from hypertension, high blood pressure, diabetes mellitus type 2, increased mortality chances in case of elevated BMI, hyperlipidemia or high or bad cholesterol are accumulating in your body, in your blood vessels. So it's at, you are at risk, so you have to reduce your BMI value by excessive exercise, your diet change, your exercise and diet will make your BMI under the normal ranges. If you have low BMI, it means that you are suffering from malnutrition. You have weak immunity and it will also cause infertility. Because body mass index, it is the ratio which determines the body fats, um, cholesterols, no doubt these are uh, commonly referred to as these are bad lipids, but cholesterol are also they play important crucial roles in the body. For example, these are precursors of testosterone hormone in males precursors of estrogen and progesterone hormones in females. So if you have low cholesterol, low BMI, then in either case of male or female, in both sexes, the infertility will be common because of deficient hormones in their body. So cholesterol should be maintained in normal body levels. Cholesterol ranges are 200 milligram per deciliter or less. This is the normal reference stage of cholesterol declared by World Health Organization WHO. So if the cholesterol increases from 200, so you are going to be obese and you are prone to certain disorders as we have discussed in elevated BMI. So this was all about the BMI body mass index. We have, I think you have find this video valuable. Thank you.